You know, for almost a month now, we've been seeing active weather in and out of our area, and it's really difficult to pinpoint who will see snowflakes and who won't. And that's in part because our weather radar of our, our weather radar coverage. So if you travel south of Lincoln City, there's a huge gap in the radar coverage meteorologists use to forecast. In fact, it's one of the worst in the country. Meteorologist Joe Ranieri joins us now. Joe, could a better radar system have helped in our record breaking winter storm that we saw just a couple of weeks ago? Absolutely, it could have, especially with that cold air getting funneled in from the Gulf of Alaska, of course, dropping snow levels and seeing widespread snowfall, of course, record breaking snowfall throughout much of the metro area and into parts of southwest Washington. But Brittany, there's a 200 mile stretch of coastline where there is no coverage at all from the central Oregon coast all the way down to the southern Oregon coast. Last month's snowstorm was legendary shutting down the city and forcing drivers to abandon their cars along the side of highways and freeways. Certainly would have helped in the short range. Now, I, I'm not saying it would help in the 48 hour forecast, it won't. But for the zero to six or 12 hours, having a coastal radar could have been useful. This record breaking snowstorm that dropped nearly a foot of snow at the Portland International Airport and nearly eight inches in downtown was tough to track. One part of the problem, Oregon's radar system. Well, it's so bad because the radars aren't there that need to cover that region. And the fact we have terrain, which blocks the radar. So, you know, we have the cascades that are very effective in blocking radar at low levels and the coastal range. I'll admit it wasn't just the poor radar system to blame for the high snowfall totals, but it's a well-known fact that our radar coverage in Oregon is the worst in the lower 48 states. Just take a look at this map that shows how big the gap is in coverage along parts of the coast. There's a Portland radar, okay, which sees the Willamette Valley, but is essentially blocked at low levels by the coastal range. Dr. Cliff Mass, a professor of atmospheric sciences at the University of Washington in Seattle, says there's about 200 miles of coastline that doesn't get picked up by radar. But that's the problem. If there's a convective line coming in or a unforeseen low pressure center or whatever, uh, you can't see it coming in on the Oregon coast. Case in point, the Manzanita tornado back in the fall of 2016, when residents only got alerts on their phones that a tornado was coming. So the only real coastal coverage right now in the northwest is from the Langley Hill radar, which uh, we put in. There was a lot of work to get that radar, and that's at Hope William. It's not an easy fix. A new radar for the coast would cost millions of dollars. I have one plan in which we get the radar on Mount Ashland and near Medford, which is not doing very, very well because it's so high. Move that to the coast and put a less expensive radar there in Medford. Mass says it'll take political movement to get things done. You need your U.S. senators from Oregon to push this very hard. It could happen, but they will have to do that. And now, Brittany, there's also a gap in coverage through parts of central Oregon. Right now, there are three different radar sites in the state. One in over in Pendleton, one not far from us along Highway 30 near Scappoose, and down in parts of southern Oregon in Medford. Live in downtown Portland tonight, Joe Ranieri, KGW News.